Each year, more than 250,000 American kids get serious head injuries while playing Here sports. Is what happened. Oh, it was, an, it was accidental. Well, this has become a debating point, is not it? It's well done. We've seen players play on. Concussions are becoming more and more prevalent. The nature of impact sports continues to produce these dangerous and potentially career-ending injuries. Yet we have no way to differentiate between a minor incident and a life-threatening one. Is there a better way to protect our athletes? Black Box Biometrics is a Rochester, New York-based company that's developed highly specialized wearable sensors that can analyze and detect the forces that cause concussions. As hard as it would be for an athlete to get yanked, um, we're not going to do it ourselves. We're not going to be the ones to say, hey, I'm going to just go off on the field. I'm, I'm really concussed. You need somebody who's going to be the bad guy that's going to yank you out. Throughout my career, I've worked on biomedical-based applications. And I've done that because I want the work that I do to impact people's lives. As we looked at what was happening in the conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan. That's really was my motivation behind doing the Blast Gauge system. The Blast Gauge system, deployed across every branch of the U.S. military, has been instrumental in determining when soldiers have had traumatic blast injuries. With explosive blast, the primary source of injury there is the shock front, that rapid change in pressure, and that propagating through the brain tissue. In sports, you have uh, blunt impact type injuries. You have the skull, it'll hit an object, could be another player, could be the ground, and your brain then continues to move because the brain is floating inside the skull. In the Lynx IAS device, what we're trying to do is measure what are the acceleration forces that are experienced by the head. So that device slips into a skull cap or headband. That gives us an accurate measure for both linear and rotational forces. The Black Box Labs contain some very sophisticated testing facilities, the centerpiece of which is the impact tester, a device used to measure the effects of blunt force trauma on the human skull. Take our sensor and load it into our soft good. Place it on the head form. And make an impact. several related but different application for use of sensor technology. Our core capability extends through the creation of sensing technologies generically. You know, the elderly have problems that are falling. Construction and mining workers, as you can imagine, the oil and gas industry. These are big problems with a lot of, lot of major institutions across a number of different segments. Although the official launch of Lynx IAS is still a few months away, it's already out in the field being tested under challenging environments. So I'd like you to try this on and I'd like you to put this over your right ear and this on your forehead so it'll grip your forehead. Go ahead and try it on. And um, we'll be watching you right here, okay? Even though in the amateur boxing, it's not about how hard you hit a person, but how often you hit them. But the accumulations of, of the blows could add up. And as a coach, it's hard to tell uh, when a, a kid's taking, taking too many punches. Boxing is such a, it's such a quick sport. Somebody gets your attention, and you could miss the blow that, that hit somebody. The Lynx IAS communicates wirelessly to an app and data such as linear acceleration and rotational velocity are stored both locally and in the cloud, allowing a coach or parent to get instant feedback on whether a serious injury has taken place. To make it easier for the consumer, we have taken these multiple measures that we have and we have combined that into a impact assessment system score that goes from zero to 100. So if you have our smart application on any uh, iPad, iPhone, Android type device, you can receive those alerts. This fall, I went to watch a high school soccer game, a varsity soccer game that my son was playing in. And it was basically two kids uh, running towards a ball, not looking at each other from two different angles. And they basically met with their heads and both of them down. So when you see 
a child tell you they're blacked out or tell you that they're dizzy or that they're nauseous because of it, then having this type of information would help athletic trainers, coaches, start to monitor uh, really the health effects for kids long term. The ESPN soccer <laughs> analyst was a prolific goal scorer in Major League Soccer when the persistent after effects of a concussion forced him to retire as a player a few years ago at the age of 30. Taylor, it's good to have you here. What do you deal with still every day? I I've had a three-year headache, Bob. It really takes away the normal things of your life, and, and there's no way to get it back as quickly as athletes like us are used to. It's important to note that these devices do not diagnose a concussion. They can't tell you anything about the symptoms that an individual might experience. Really having that objective information on what the impact exposure is, is really critical so the parent or the coach or the athletic trainer can make an informed decision based on all the information that they have on whether that individual should continue to play. I think that this device will help decrease the amount of second and third concussions and you know you do get a concussion take the right measures look at the app go to a doctor and just make sure that you're symptom free I think that that will help. All of us that are soccer moms and soccer dads or even if you're not if you don't have kids you can relate to at some point in your life you fell down and hit your head. And that's part of the problem, really understanding those events. I'd like to think that our, our sensing technologies will help further change the, the way we play uh, those sports in, in a safer fashion.